Okay, in this video here, what we're going to do is take a quick look at how we can go about editing our custom attributes. Very easy. Now, I've left my setup that I created in the last video in place. So we select our little locator right here, and you'll see we still have index curl, woohoo, and it works just fine. And we've got middle curl. Now, let's say for whatever reason, we don't need middle curl. Okay. Our character no longer has a middle finger. Actually, he <laughs> never had one created to begin with, so we need to get rid of that. Nice. Editing these custom attributes is very easy. All we need to do is come up here to modify, and you'll find both an edit attribute and a delete attribute menu option. So for delete attribute, we'll go ahead and bring that up. We get a list of the custom attributes available on the selected object. And up here at the top, we basically see what object is selected. All we need to do is select the one we want to get rid of, click delete. Look at that. It's already refreshed. Cool. So let's close that out. Now, I want to edit my set driven key for my fingers because I want my character to be able to bend his finger backwards. Mm. But I have a problem. Index curl goes from 0 to 10, and I want 0 to be an open and resting position for my finger. I don't want 0 to be backwards because that means some awkward value like 2.8 would be a resting position. So you need to add like maybe negative 5 so as a Yeah, place. I want my index curl to have a minimum value of like minus 5. Okay. So now I'm going to come up here to modify and come down to edit attribute. Okay, again, we get a dialog that says edit attribute, and it shows us what object is currently selected, and it gives us a list of all of the different attributes available on that object. Only the ones we've added. That's right. Only the ones we've added, custom attributes. I'm going to select index curl mm -hmm. because I don't have many choices, <laughs> and that's the one I want to <laughs> add it. We could come down here and change the name of it by simply typing in a new name and hit close, and that's it. Okay. But in this case, I want to change my min and max value. You'll notice down here in the numeric attribute properties section that we can decide if it is or isn't keyable. Okay, we can decide if it has a minimum, if it has a maximum, and all these things were established in the original create custom attribute dialog. Cool. We'll leave these in place, but let's go ahead and take our min max. I'll take the minimum value down to minus three. Okay. That sounds good. And with that in place, I'll just go ahead and close this out, and let's try it out now. So forwards. And now zero, and I can keep going backwards. Oh, nice. So now if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and quickly come back up here to, uh, oh, let's jump over to animate, set driven key, open this guy back up, and we'll go ahead and load our driver. We'll grab index curl, and then again, loading driven. So you'll notice it didn't auto load. It's mm -hmm. because we've got multiple objects it controls, and how's it going to know which one? Right. So let's go ahead and select, shift select. Shift select, and again, it's rotate Z that we're interested in. And all I need to do is say, using, I'm using this for selecting my objects again. Yep. So um, actually, you know what? Let's do this properly without acting crazy here. Select all three of these. Load driven. Select them all. There you go. And rotate Z. Sometimes i got to <laughs> slow down. Come back up here to locator one. And now I'm going to say with index curl at a negative three, I want for my fingers. Oh, this is going to hurt. To rotate back. But you know what? Check this yeah, out. Let me just get away I with don't that want this guy to rotate that much. This guy is going to be able to rotate a tad bit more. Ow. And this guy is really fancy. Oh, the pain. I could. No, I can't. Not even close. <laughs> I, say, I tried. Not even yeah, close. I mean, I can actually get kind of close to that. Well, yeah, but of course, you're you're push, taking one finger and pushing on. Well, yeah, but I'm saying. But like anybody can see either of us pushing. Yeah, say, well, maybe your character's doing it. Maybe his finger's against a table or something. Okay, okay. Which, of course, I'm doing over here and nobody he can and nobody see that. Can see. So That's here okay. we are. Index curls at negative three. We've adjusted the rotation of all three joints the way we like it. Everything is properly selected inside our set driven key dialog. So all we need to do is hit key to record the relationship and close the dialog. We're done. So at zero, again, our finger's in a nice rest position, and we still have Curls. the ability to curl without any problem. But now we can go... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, push your finger against the monitor until it just begins to hurt. That's yeah. what exactly what it looks Actually, like. Actually, check this out. Our guy can wiggle his finger bye-bye <laughs> to you. Bye-bye. Oh, toodles. <laughs> toodles. Doodle, doodle, doodle. That's really scary. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty funny. So um, that's pretty much it. Modifying or editing, I mean... A uh, custom attribute is very easy. Yeah. You edit it here, you delete it from here. And with that, that's pretty much going to wrap up this lesson on editing custom attributes. Thanks a lot.